Homeless is very tough. I felt alone. It's the worst feeling ever. You feel so stressed. It made me feel like I was a nobody and that nobody cared about me. I said, we got to find something. I'm not letting the kid sleep out on the street. I got in seventh grade and I started to act up. My mom went blind in like eighth grade. Me and my mom are really close. So then it made me realizing the stuff I was doing was dumb and stupid. One night, my mom sat down and then we talked about me moving out here my aunt. And I moved out here freshman year of high school. I don't think her husband ever liked me. Things just went bad, but we argued all the time. He always was at me for no reason, so he chose to kick me out. My mom, her and her boyfriend, um, they got into an abusive relationship. She decided to move back, and I was left to figure out a place to stay. How am I going to eat? How am I going to get to school? My boyfriend's mom didn't want me staying with them. Some nights I would like sleep in his car, and the other nights I would just find somewhere else to sleep. I did cry a lot, like every night, I did cry. I was couch surfing from this friend's house to like my girlfriend's house or, or my coach's house one night. I didn't have a place to stay, no food. I was basically homeless. My heart was heavy. I just couldn't let a kid who wanted to finish here sleep out on the street. I had to get something done. It was a promise I made to my mom and that I will be successful. Go to college, I can I'll take care of her. He wanted to be here. Whatever it was gonna take, I was gonna try everything I could to get it to happen. So his tennis coach reached out to Pivot and asked if we had an opening to, to take in Sequabian, and, and fortunately we did. The first day coach called Pivot, I moved in like an hour after that. My counselor, she actually introduced me to Pivot. When I first met Stephanie, um, one of the things I really kind of helped her identify is some of the positive characteristics that she possessed. Pivot actually helped me find a home. They helped me with food and clothing, anything I need, they helped out. It means a lot, actually, like to have people you know show they care and help you with things that you like don't have or need or want. And I'm very thankful that I was placed here. And after high school, I'll be going to college to study biology. I actually received a football scholarship to, to Langston. It made my mom happy. Well, for first off, she, she cried, actually, and said that uh, she's proud of me, and I did it. It made me feel good. I mean, it's like a, a huge, big step of me completing that promise I made to her. He is a kid that inspires people. He's a leader. A lot of the other young men look up to him. Pivot has made a big impact on my life. I don't think I will be on this good path that I'm on now without Pivot. Thank you for, for helping me and caring and showing me support. I am independent, I am strong, and it is because of Pivot, it is because of my counselors. So I just wanna say like, thank you guys. <laughs> this is, I can't even call it a job, just to be able to bear witness to these kids' stories and the trauma that they've experienced and to just walk alongside them is everything. And the challenge is, is making sure that we reach as many youth as possible. Like there are people that, that are probably doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing in order to get food or money and they just need to know that there's programs that can help. You know, I tell everybody how cool the program is and how much it's helped a kid that I know personally. This program puts its money where its mouth is. I want to help be a counselor or try to help 
kids in my situation, like Pivot does. I think it has blessed many kids and gave kids an opportunity to be better and make that switch. Hopefully watch them blossom into something great.